Hey everyone, welcome back to PT Analytics. In this video, I will talk about the date functions. So date functions is quite very interesting and very important in Tableau because most of the times we have to play with different date field. So in this video, we will understand the use of date add and date difference. So I have opened this workbook and I have connected with sample superstore. In sample superstore, we have two fields having date data type. First is order date and second is ship date. Let's use the order date. I will drag the order date into the row shell and convert this to exact date. And now convert to discrete. We can see all the distinct date coming from sample superstore. Now the first functions that we are using is date add. So I'll open the calculator field, give it a name date add. As the name indicates, date add functions is used to add the increment based on the date part. For example, in the existing order date, I want to add five days or I want to add five months or I want to uh, subtract two months. So using the date add, we can do this. So syntax is if I just type the date add function, you will see date add functions takes three argument. First is date part, then interval and date. Date part will indicate what you want to add in terms of month, year, days. Then interval, how many days, months you want to add and your date. So let's use these functions. Date add. Date part, I want to add the month. So I will type the month, comma, the number of month. So let's suppose I want to add three months in the order date. So this calculation will add three months in the order date. Let's use this. I'll convert this to exact date and discrete. And you will observe third gen after adding three months, it is giving third April. Just check for any date, it is 13th July. After adding four months, it is giving 13th October. So by this example, we can add the number of months. Now let's add the year. Same syntax, date add. Now the date part or the first argument will be year. Comma, interval, I want to add two years. So I will mention two, comma, order date. Convert to exact date and discrete. We can see after adding two years, just pick any date here, it is 30th May. After adding two years, 30th May 2020, it is giving 30th May 2022. Same date, same month, but it has added two years. So using the date add function, you can add, you can do the increment. You can add the increment. Not only in the ascending order, if you want to subtract, that also we can do. So in the existing calculation, now instead of two, I will mention minus two. What it will do, instead of adding two years, it will subtract two years. Just see the output. 30th May 2020 now giving 2018. Okay, so this is the usage of date add. Now let's go to the date difference function. As the name indicates, it will return the difference between two dates. So I will use order date and shipping date. Convert to exact date here also and discrete so that we can see all the distinct date and discrete. So we have order date and ship date. Now let's use date difference functions to get the difference between order date and ship date. I want to get the difference in days. So again, it will take three argument. Fourth one is optional. First is date part. 
second is start date that is order date comma ship date so as it will return the difference in number of days the data type is number and i'll drag this convert to discrete now the order date is that jan 2019 ship date is 7th jan 2019 date difference is 4 that is correct but if you look at the second row where order date is 4th jan and ship date is 8th jan but the difference is 12 that is not correct because the difference is still 4 but it is showing 12 to understand this i will add order count you will observe for second row we have three records in the data source and in each record the difference is 4 when we track date difference field it is doing the sum so it is doing 4 plus 4 plus 4 that is why 12 is coming so instead of taking the sum here you can take minimum maximum any functions now you will get the correct difference this randomly check for any dates it is 17th december 2019 it is 19th december the difference is 2 that is correct so using the date difference, you can get the difference between two dates. Date part based on you. I mean, you can mention the day, month or year. And accordingly, it will return it. All right. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the uh, videos. Thank you so much.